Good morning. How's it, everybody? Wow, look at this amazing Monday morning sunrise. Let's jump on the bike, let's head up to the mountains, and let's check out these amazing fall colors that are happening at the moment. Busy leaving my neighborhood of Buckhead, which is located just north of downtown Atlanta. We have a population of about 100,000, I believe. Anyway, heading towards Georgia 400. I've spoken a little bit about Georgia 400. That's the freeway that I take north all the way up to the mountains. From this point, it's about an hour's ride to get from here into Dahlonega. And from Dahlonega is where we go into the mountains. So, it's gonna head up on this freeway. It's kind of boring, but it gets us there. Ah, Dahlonega, Georgia, one of my favorite little country towns. Only has a population of approximately 7,000. I believe it was the first major gold rush in the U.S. was situated here. But now it's the heart of Georgia wine country. This little square, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ride around this little square in the middle of the town so you guys can get a pretty good feel of how genuine and how authentic this very cool town is. It's full with great restaurants, little taverns, wineries. Um, it's just a really fun place to take a day trip, come up exploring, there's a lot to do, and of course sit out on the patio and just when the weather's great like this, just soak it all in. I get so excited when I've left out of Dahlonega, taken a few country roads, and I land up at, at this intersection over here, Stone Pile Gap intersection. This, this intersection, this traffic circle, if you take a right, it leads you to 129 to Blood Mountain, you go straight, you land up on Highway 60, which I'm on now. Such a cool winding road. Uh, it's just, there's so many turns, it's only two lanes, and when you get to the top, the views are incredible. You work, you work your way down and you get to this clearing of Woody Lake. Today I actually just, for the first time, pulled off. I wanted to check out this little country house, country cabin. It seemed a little bit dilapidated. I wasn't sure if it was abandoned or not. So I pulled in, I wanted to check it out, but I don't think it is because of how manicured these lawns are. You know, somebody's definitely taking care of this property. But I'm always enamored when I come up here to the country and I just, get a glimpse of the more relaxed and simplistic life of the country, you know, compared to the chaos of the city. So I like to soak in and check out these old homes. You know, look at that view that this person has onto Woody Lake. And, you know, in the background, you can just see the clearings of the, the colors that are about to happen. Pulling into two wheels only motorcycle resort. You know, I've stayed here a bunch. It's been in a bunch of my videos, if any of you have watched them. This particular parking spot right in front of the main lodge on the weekends is just jam packed for the motorcycles. Total motorcycle heaven. Such as Life Country Store. One of my favorite little country stores to stop and either just catch a cup of coffee or a, or a refreshment or a couple of snacks. Today, uh, they treated me to a delicious muffin and I ended up getting a bunch of uh, cookies as well just to kind of supplement the rest of my ride. I always like doing this. They're great people and, you know, hoping to, uh, you know, in the slightest way, contribute to the local economy. I always try and stop at, you know, one or two of the country stores and just such an awesome place to be up here. Now, let's get it going. Let's get into this forest. Let's get far deep into this forest and check out the changing of these leaves. I mean, just bursting with colors. Um, so amazing riding through here, you know. In so many sections, it, the leaves were literally raining down on me. Like, as the sun was catching them, it just looked like I was being rained on but I was being rained on by golden leaves. It was really, really cool to check. And then in many sections like this, it was, a little, it was like riding on a golden carpet. I mean, there was, there was no, you, you 
you couldn't see the road. It was just so covered in these gold and orange and yellow leaves. It literally felt like I was riding on a, on a, on a road of gold. Um, the higher up I got, you know, the more intense the colors got. It was just an amazing, amazing experience. And then I find this clearing, and I love to do this because I love to find these clearings and throw the drone up because while you're so focused on riding through the forest, you actually lose perspective of A, how deep you've gone into the forest, and B, there's no way of really fully taking in the huge expanse of where you're at. And as you can see, as this drone camera is panning, number one, we see the colors. The colors are just almost unreal, almost it just doesn't seem real in the fact that, I mean, there's blues, there's purples, there's dark greens, light greens, there's light yellows, dark yellows, rich orange, rich red, and then you just pan up to this horizon and you just see the vast expanse of just how far these mountains and these forests, this forest stretches. You know, I'm in total awe and, and it's so humbling and so I'm so appreciative that I get to ride in this region, and pretty often at that, you know, there's hiking, there's, motor, there's obviously motorcycle, there's camping, there's, there's four by four, and we're so lucky that we actually get to enjoy these areas. So if you haven't been up here yet, please do. It's just, it's just a fantastic place, and we're so blessed that we get to enjoy it. I really love it up here so much. You know, here I am down a little side path, checking out a mountain stream I mean it's just so diverse and the beauty that you see just so enjoyable so if you can make it up here you know it's it's really life changing and then here I am pulling up to Gabriel you'll see kind of in this conversation what goes down with Gabriel you okay it's all good it's stupid but I, I, I could use a little hand lifting it up sure no problem yeah no worries man how are you man good how are you that's a big one huh do you know how to get this bike up? Yeah. Okay. Big, yeah. I don't know if you want to step on the quick stand or something. Well, I'll tell you what, if, if we're both over here because your, your stand's out, it should be fine. There you go. You got it. Thank you so much. No worries. Beautiful bike, man. But yeah, no, I know exactly what you're saying. Like, even that thing, when I fall over and I got gear on, it's heavy. So I can just imagine what this is like to pick up. Yeah. You want me to lead or you want to lead? I'll, I'll go ahead. Okay. I'll get a little bit more practice reading lines and then. Sounds good. All right, as you can pick up from that conversation, Gabriel is a new adventure rider. He actually lives in Miami. He was on a big ride up. He rode up the coast and then he cut across North Carolina into Tennessee, rode the tail of the dragon. And on his way back, you know, he passed through this region. He was on his way to Atlanta to stay with a friend in Atlanta who actually happened to be a friend of mine small world but he had a small tip over helped him get his bike back up made sure he got out uh, safely with no more issues and uh, and off he went you know just I really tip my hat to him you know what I mean he uh, takes it takes a lot to do this stuff solo and you know being a new adventure rider you dove head first in and he, and he went for it so it was great to meet him and I'm glad I did and glad I had the opportunity to uh, swap couple of adventure stories with him. The, uh, guardian angel out of the sky. Um, no worries man, what's your name? Gabriel. Gabriel Uli. Not long after I left Gabriel, I found this mountain farm high up above in this clearing. Just absolutely beautiful. I had to throw the drone up, capture this cornfield with those mountains in the back changing color. I mean, just take this in, the contrast is just unreal. It was just absolutely beautiful. Anyway guys, that wraps up my ride for the changing colors of the North Georgia Mountain. Hope you enjoy, venture on, see you soon. Cheers. <laughs>